Ooh, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And congrats to Josh Allen. Congrats to the Buffalo Bills. Congrats to all the fans, the whole organization, the GM, Brandon Bean, just everybody from the top to the bottom of the Buffalo Bills organization because you locked up your guy for the long term. Now, let's, let's just look at the details of the deal. Let's look at it. It says, this is a six-year deal worth 258 mil, including one, <laughs> 150 million guaranteed, 150 million guaranteed. Josh Allen and the Bills are locked in for big money. And let me let me let you know about something. Uh, it, it was said recently by Brandon Bean himself. He said, and I knew exactly what this was. He said a few days ago, if if we don't have a deal on the table uh, by when, when the season starts, then we'll just table talks and we'll pick it up in the off season. We're not going to have this contract looming over our heads during the season. We're not going to have it as a distraction. If we don't get it done before week one, then we're not going to get it done till after playoffs, after Super Bowl, after the season is done. And what that was, what, what it let me know it was, was that that was the GM putting pressure on Josh Allen and his agent to get this deal done. Reason being because it, Josh Allen wasn't going anywhere. Josh Allen is a very, very good co quarterback, a very, very good young quarterback. He wasn't going anywhere. They weren't going to let him go. They weren't going to trade him, none of that stuff. But had they held off paying Josh Allen this year, then for the GM, it would hurt his pockets even more. The longer you take to pay your quarterback, the more expensive that he would have gotten. More and more expensive he would have gotten. So that's why this, th this deal, the timing of this deal is perfect for the Bills and it's perfect for Brandon. B and another thing, too. Another thing. Of course, we know that Lamar Jackson's getting ready to get paid. Of course, we know that Baker Mayfield's getting ready to get paid. From the GM's perspective. Now, what Josh Allen, this is, this is a lot of money. $150 million guaranteed. That's a lot of money. But this is what all everybody was waiting on. Who was going to be the first domino to fall? Who was going to be the first young quarterback from that 2018 draft class in the first round? Who was going to be the first one to get paid? Because the other ones are sitting back and waiting like, hmm, okay, that's what he got? All right, let's do it now. Now with Baker Mayfield, with him, I think it's very, very tricky. Because I feel like him, and it's not a shot at Baker Mayfield or anything, but I feel like he would get paid the least among the three. So, but again, the market is about the market. It's not always about who the best is. It's not always who the greatest quarterback is. It's about who's scheduled to get paid at that time. Because with the market, your agent will look at the previous deal, whoever got paid last, and be like, you know what? I want to top that. You know what? I want more than that. You know what? Give me more bread than that. So with Josh Allen, good for him. This is great for him. This is great for him. But this could end up being the floor of the deals when it comes to both Baker Mayfield and Lamar Jackson, especially Lamar Jackson. Now, Josh Allen was certainly, uh, he was deserving of this contract. He did his thing. Um, now, his first year, his rookie year in the league wasn't the prettiest. But hey, Bills fans, Bills fans, you're welcome. Reason I say you're welcome is because back in 2018, the year that you guys drafted Josh Allen, the year my Ravens drafted Lamar Jackson, that year, week one of the season, and I was there at the game. It was very ugly. It was it was just nasty. We did a vlog of the game. You can check it out on the channel if you want to. But that game was so ugly. The weather was disgusting. It was raining literally from beginning to end of the game, and then even after. But the starter for that game, and I, I will never forget, the Bills even did a highlight video of Nathan Peterman. They did a hype video of Nathan Peterman heading into week one. And I was like, well, they, they really did this? Because at first I thought it was like a troll account making a hype video of uh, Nathan Peterman, but it was actually the Buffalo Bills. But anyway, Nathan Peterman was the starter, and the Ravens defense smothered this guy. Josh Allen was not the starter. He was the backup. But Nathan Peterman did so bad through all these picks, had these turnovers, could not generate any points, couldn't do anything. So then the Josh Allen show got started a bit early because Nathan Peterman was doing so bad in that game. So Bills fans, you're welcome because it was because of the Ravens that Josh Allen got to get started so soon. So there you go. But 
anyway, well, yeah, he. So his first year was a little shaky. Even the second year was a little shaky. But ooh, last year, last year, Josh Allen had uh, an MVP like season. He really did. Um, Josh Allen absolutely killed it. Uh, he did his thing um, through the air, obviously on the ground a bit too. Josh Allen, he's a beast, man. I like Josh Allen a lot. I, I know you always see. And it's unfortunate, man, because I feel like it takes away from the greatness of these players because you always see Ravens and Bills fans going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, arguing every single day. Oh, who's better? Who's better? Who's better? Who's better? And it's just like people get so caught up in fandom that they don't acknowledge how good these players really are. And they start nitpicking at this and that, and they start looking for this and that and be like, oh, well, this guy doesn't, and this guy doesn't, and it's just... It's just not worth it, man. Um, but congrats on Josh Allen getting his deal. And congrats on Josh Allen really putting everybody else on, too. Because this, like I said, it sets up both Lamar Jackson and Baker Mayfield for major paydays. <laughs> Those points are going to get better. Like, look, look at $150 million guaranteed. So he got, now there, there's no question now. On uh, what the average was because obviously Patrick Mahomes, I think his average is uh, 45, I believe. Um, so Josh Allen, he hasn't done what Patrick Mahomes done, and none, none of the other quarterbacks have. Lamar Jackson, Baker Mayfield, none of them have. They haven't done what Patrick Mahomes has done. He got that Super Bowl championship just two years ago. So they, since they haven't done that yet, we couldn't expect them to get more than Patrick Mahomes. Oh, even though the market sometimes the market dictates it. So, again, it's not always about what you've done. It's not always about what you've accomplished. It's not always about who the best is. But Patrick Mahomes being at 45, this puts Josh Allen, like, right below him at 43. So you got to feel like uh, when it comes to Baker Mayfield, when it comes to Lamar Jackson, the floor for their deals, especially Lamar, the floor for his deal will be, like, 43.5. It, it ha that has to be the floor, the absolute floor. Now, he could possibly get more, possibly, but we'll see. But that is where I think that's where talks start at. That is the minimum. That is the absolute minimum. But this is a uh, re really good move. And again, like I said, it, it sets everybody up. And again, I, I just keep looking at that because with these deals, you can't always go by what the deal is worth. Um, you have to go to that guaranteed money. And for Josh Allen to be getting $150 million guaranteed. So that means no matter how things go, that means no matter what happens next, that means no matter what goes down from this point forward, you're getting $150 million. You're getting that no matter what. Not a bad bargain. <laughs> so shout out to Josh Allen. And I know that he is a very, very happy man. Um, and he may look like some people may try to take this and twist it. Oh, yeah, Josh Allen. He's going to end up getting paid the least out of the three quarterbacks. Trust me. Trust me, I, I do not think he will be that bothered at all. When you got 150 mil coming to you no matter what, and this is on top of his rookie deal. When you got 150 mil coming to you no matter what, yeah, I, I think he'll be A-OK. -okay. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And like Josh Allen won't be with the Pills for a very long time, I'm out.